Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. So there's a couple extra elements that a parabola can present us. Okay, so we're used to knowing how to graph them given a vertex and sort of how we how we given the shape steep or narrow, all that stuff. A couple other things that come into play are what are called the focus and the directrix. Okay, and what they are are basically two different things. One's a point, one's a line. The focus is basically a point that is directly above the vertex in an upward facing parabola. It'd be directly below the vertex in a downward facing parabola. And what it is, is if you sort of think about going to a football game or something like that, you see the guys on the sideline with these big semicircle basically looking things. Those are actually parabolas. And what they are is it's when the sound comes in, there's actually a little microphone at that focus. So all the sound waves come in and they all get reflected to that single spot. Okay, so no matter where anything comes down, it reflects into this focus, okay? And then what the directrix is, is not quite as applicable because it's not actually, you know, in this little parabolic sound collecting thing. But what it is, it's a line so that any point on the parabola is going to be equidistant from the focus and that directrix, okay? So if you were to draw a line straight down to the directrix, that line is going to be exactly the same distance if you drew it straight to the focus, okay? So what we have are these two different elements. My drawing, as you can see, is a little bit off. This line should actually be the same length as that, but hopefully you get the idea of what's going on. So this parabola that I have up here is just a basic parabola, a x squared, where a is positive because we have an upward facing parabola. What we're used to seeing is A dictating the steepness of this. If A is a number greater than one, it probably becomes steeper. A is less than one, it becomes wider. But actually, A is a direct relationship to this focus, okay? And really, what we call is, we're used to saying parabolas or the equation for quadratics are AX squared plus BX plus C. And I want to just point out that that C is going to be a little, that C in the quadratic equation is different than the C I'm going to talk about now. The C that we're talking about here is really the difference, or sorry, the distance between your focus and your vertex. Okay? And the absolute value of A is going to be equal to 1 over 4C, that distance. Okay? So that's actually one way we can figure out exactly how steep or wide this parabola is, is by knowing the distance between the focus and the vertex. Okay? The one other thing I want to talk about is we know this distance C between the focus and the vertex is C. We also know that's going to be the same distance from the point to the directrix. So that by default, right at that vertex point, that's going to be the same distance C from the directrix to the vertex. Okay. So the main thing from this little talk is the focus is a point where everything, if you're creating lines that are coming straight in, are going to be deflected into this focus. And the relationship between the focus and directrix is any point on the curve is going to be equidistant between the two. And lastly, this a, this coefficient on x squared, can be defined by absolute value of a is equal to 1 over 4c. And the reason they have that absolute value is this is just going to dictate the magnitude of a. It doesn't actually tell us the sign. Okay, so Upward facing parabola, A is going to be positive. Downward facing parabola, we know A has to be negative. So we can throw those signs in afterwards, but this is going to tell us the magnitude, at least the numeric value of that coefficient. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs>